am back with another binder organization video. So I know I've shared many of these videos in the past, but that was before I had my Etsy shop. I have an Etsy shop where I sell digital downloads, printables, planner covers, and all that that I started last August. That link is always in the description below. So what I'm doing is I'm going through all of my binders and I'm recreating the principles if I need to and listing them in my shop. When they get listed, I share a video over them. So my first video, I'm gonna leave that in a card above, was over my emergency binder. So all of the important documents that we need in case of emergency are in that binder. So definitely check that video out. So today we are diving into my medical binder. I've had this system set up for at least seven years. And I know at least seven years because it saved me some money in 2014. Now in 2013, I had Derek. So I knew after I had him with the doctor's visits, hospital stay, delivery, and all of that, I knew my deductible was met. So December of that same year, Kate had to have her tonsils out. So I knew that I already had my deductible met and I should not have to worry about any money. Well, in the beginning of 2014, we get a bill that was roughly $800. I pulled my medical binder out and I'm like, no, no, no. I know I have already met my deductible, looked through my paperwork, and the calculations were correct. So I called the insurance company and they had made a mistake, or actually two mistakes. The first one was they did not put Kate's name in correctly. And number two, they did not put her social security number in correctly. So they re-ran the bill through the insurance and we owed zero. So that saved me. $800 by having this binder and keeping everything organized. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to an up close and personal shot and I am going to share my medical binder with you. So I can't share every document in here because there's a lot of personal information, but I can at least share with you how it's divided out and what items are in each tab. And that information I will leave in the description below. And then I'm gonna share all of the principles with you. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to an up close and personal shot. So before I get to the medical binder and then the medical printables, I just wanna tell you that all of the printables that I share will be in my Etsy shop. That link is always in the description below. So just like I said in the beginning, I can't share everything with you, but I can at least give you some information on how I do the bills and how my binder is sectioned out. So this is in my Etsy shop. It's with one of the downloads actually this download right here, this principal, the medical bill payment tracker. And I will share with you just a second how I'm doing these. I actually have a bill back here that I'm going to fill this sheet out for. So this is a better binder from Staples. It is the only binders that I like to use. I don't have a Staples near me, but y'all, these binders are about six years old plus. And that's the only binder I have. I like them because they're well made. They have these rubber sections on them to cushion the edges so your binder is not going to get messed up. And then I just put medical on the side with my label maker. I will link my brother label maker in the description below. So when you open the binder up, this is what you see. And in this front flap here, I always keep my extra printables. You guys, I have a, several of these printed out just in case I need them. I've got them right here. Now these are in my Etsy shop and I'll go over those in a minute. The second reason that I like the better binder is because of where the rings are located. Instead of being on the spine, it's actually on the back of the binder which to me, I feel like that is going to make your binder last longer because of the wear and tear to the rings. Also, it lays flat, so you don't have to worry about pushing the sides down and popping back up on you. So the first thing I'm going to share with you is the tabs. So the way I have this binder organized is by family member. So I've got Nathan, me, Kate, Derek, and then Airy Vac in the back. So we do have AeriVac and back there it just has the paperwork and it shows what our number is and all of that just in case I need to call about those. I don't get a statement every single month 
from Arivac. It is automatically taken out of my checking account. So every section here has a copy of our insurance card, any type of login information for the doctor's offices. A lot of doctor's offices these days have online portals. So any of that information that we've gotten is in that section. So this is Nathan's section here. I can't really go through it because of what I've told you. So anything that I have in a section, I will leave that in the description below. So this section here, first thing that you see right here is a copy of the insurance card. That's the first thing in all of the tabs. Second thing is any online portal information. And then third, if there's any care credit, like for Nathan's, and mine, I have care credit information. Any type of EOBs that we get, they receive a sheet protector and then I put it in there and then you have the bills. So if I get a bill from a hospital or a doctor's office, this is the process that I take. And it goes behind the person section that that bill is associated with. So I may have four, five, six of these running in the medical binder at one time. So I'm actually going to fill this out for you. So this principle right here is the main reason that I created the medical binder. It's to keep all of the bills organized. So every company, every doctor's office, every hospital will get one of these sheets here. And that is where I list all of the information, beginning balance, how much we've paid and so forth. So this is the information that it has, company, so I actually have a bill right here that I'm gonna fill out to share with you what this looks like. So this bill right here, if you did not know, I will be having surgery on Friday. If you've not seen that video, I will link it in the card above. So this bill that I'm fixing to write down is one of many that I'm probably going to receive. And this was for the appointment to discuss surgery. So this was for the company OB. G Y N and I do not have the best handwriting associates. My account number, I'm not going to put my account number on there right now because that's personal information, but that goes right there. And then my beginning balance is this is $55 and 30 cents. So then you go down here and let's say that we're gonna make a payment. I'm gonna say that I have made a payment because I'm probably fixing to pay this off before I have surgery on Friday. So I'm gonna put the date of today is actually the 11th, 2020. And I've gotten in this habit of putting 2020 instead of just 20 because somebody said that if you just put 20, they can put anything behind it. Method of payment, we're gonna put check and the check number so i'm going to put check number then i'll put the check number here we're going to say the payment amount is i'm just going to pay this one in full 55 dollars and 30 cents which leaves me with a zero balance i'm going to keep this sheet in a sheet protector and it will go behind my name in the medical binder now you may ask why are you doing that because you've paid it off because i'm going to have more bills from this company so what i will do is each bill gets one of these sheets so it's going to be the first sheet that goes in for that section and then all of the eobs all of the actual statements that I get will go behind this in my binder. That goes for every single bill. So if there's several different bills that I'm paying, each one of them will get this sheet first and then all of the EOBs, all of the bills will be behind that in a sheet protector. So this has helped me tremendously and this is a bill that I am paying this week. So this is how the medical bill binder is organized out. This is in my Etsy shop. I will link the exact link in the description below. So you guys, that is how this medical bill binder is organized out. Insurance cards, information for each doctor's office, the bill tracker for every company, hospital, doctor's office that we get. And then behind this is all of the EOBs and bills for this individual place. 
Now, what I wanna share with you next are a few printables that I feel like are beneficial and something that I'm going to add to this binder. And really, I'm the only person that needs to add it right now. One of them because I'm the only one that takes medication on a regular basis. One other thing that I will mention before I share those extra printables is shot records. I do have shot records for both of my kids in their section. So not only is it their insurance card, also I keep all of the pamphlets for the shots that they receive. I'll show you that. So these are some of the vaccines that the kids have gotten. So I like to keep them just in case I have any questions about the shots that they received or what some side effects are or you know if I'm looking at their shot records and need to know what this particular vaccine was for I can come here and I always have it. For the next printable that I'm going to share, I'm actually going to go to the back of my life planner to share the notes section. So I will link in a card above the notes section for my life planner. This, what I'm sharing with you today, was not part of that because I asked other ways I could use my notes section and you guys shared some great information with me and I actually used it. So somebody told me that they like to keep their medication list with them in the back of their planner. Excellent idea, so I went ahead and did that. Well, not only this, but I'm like, you know, that's a great thing to have for your medical binder. So what I did was I created a printable and I'm actually gonna fill it out based on this and put it in my medical binder today. So this is the printable that I created it says daily medication list. And the reason I put the flag on the top right is so that you could put the year. So I'm just gonna put 20. So if you come back and it says 18, you'll know, hey, I need to update that because this was updated in 2018. So my name, I'm gonna put my name here. And the reason I put the name is because you may have several family members that have different medication every single day. So I'm going to start with my morning medication and then go forward. So Zoloft is the first thing that I take. And I don't know about y'all, until somebody told me about keeping a list of that, I did not have any of my medication written down. And I can't tell you how many times that I've gone to a doctor and they're like, well, what's your milligram? I'm like, I have no idea. So the dosage is 100 milligrams. And I'm just gonna put one tablet in parentheses time of day, morning. The purpose is for, I'm just gonna put anxiety and any notes. I'm not gonna put any notes down. So next I'm gonna go to my next meds. So I'm gonna do the same thing all the way down and then I will come back and share the completed paper with you. Okay, I have my medication now listed and I will put that in that binder. So what I use the notes section for is I put the brand down if there was a specific brand that I like to get every single time. Like for my probiotic, I like to use the finest nutrition from Walgreens. And then for my multivitamin and my iron, I use a GNC brand. Everything else like fish oil, vitamin D3, Zyrtec and magnesium. I don't have to have a specific brand for that. Usually for the Zyrtec, I've been getting the um, set from Sam's because it is more inexpensive than anything else. So I'm going to put this in a sheet protector and I'm going to put that in my medical binder. So this is a printable that is listed in my Etsy shop. And then I have one other that I wanna share with you that I won't put in my binder, but it is one that somebody asked if I would create and I did, and I just want you to know that it is available if it's something that you might need. So I had somebody that took a look at my lesson plan printable on my Etsy shop and said, this is a great format, but could you make this as a treatment plan? So they helped me create this and it is now listed. So you get these two things here. So I think this would be great for many different things, any type of medical, therapy, counseling, anything like that, I think this would work great for. So these two are a set. So this is the cover in case you wanna make a binder out of it. And then this is is the treatment plan log. So it says weekly treatment plan, client and week of, and then you have day and date, objective, 
intervention and client homework and then it's divided out by days of the week and then I have a notes section at the bottom so if you are interested in something like this this is available if you can think of any other thing that you think this template could be used for let me know and I will create that for you so that is my medical binder and how I have it organized and all of the medical printables that are available in my Etsy shop. Just like I said, if there's anything else you can think of that's medical oriented that you want me to make, let me know. Send me a message, leave me a comment, and I can definitely make that happen for you. So my link for my Etsy shop is always in my description below. So that is my medical binder and how I have it organized. This binder, like I said, I have had organized the same way since 2013. That is seven years. It's a system that's working. It has worked, so I am not going to change it. So remember all of the principles that I shared. You can get those in my Etsy shop. I'm leaving that link in the description below. So in the comments below, I wanna know your thoughts. Do you have a medical binder? How do you keep your medical bills organized? Share all of that in the comments below. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up by giving my videos a thumbs up. It shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.